Praise the Lord. Welcome to the program once again. You're invited to come in and let's talk about the Lord. Amen? And His goodness today. I'd like to say that it's been a good day. Been a good week. Amen? The Lord is blessed. We just need to keep looking up. No matter what's going on around us, look unto Jesus. The one that can take us through. Amen? Father, we come to you today thanking you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace. For you said in your word, your mercies are new every day. And Lord, I pray that you just give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of you, Lord, and what you want us to learn through your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The book of John, the 19th chapter, and the 30th verse says this. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. At that moment, the plan of salvation had been completed. Jesus came to do the will of the Father. He came to give us life. He came to bring the plan of salvation that we could have life through Him. Amen. To bring forth salvation, the healings, whatever that we have need of. Jesus completed the task. And he said this, It is finished. Now, where do we go from there? It's up to us. He did his part. Now it's time for us to do our part. Amen? Hebrews 11 and 1 says this, Now, faith... Not talking about tomorrow's faith, yesterday's faith. He said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. We didn't see Jesus on the cross. We didn't see him taking the stripes for our healing. We didn't see him shedding his blood that we could have life. But I believe he did. Because his word says he did. Amen. We didn't see it. But we believe it. And we have that blessed hope. That one day. We will. See him face to face. The one. That came. To save us. From the devil's hell. The one. That gave us his all. That we could have his everything. That we could become heir and join heirs with Jesus Christ. Amen. What was his is ours also. Amen. Mark eleven twenty two says, Have faith in God. Hmm. Now faith. Now faith. Not yesterday's faith. Now faith. Amen. Jesus did his part. Now we have a choice. We either believe him or we don't. We obey him or we don't. We live life abundantly or we don't. Amen. He said he wished above all that we would prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. When we let our soul prosper, every area in our life prospers. If you don't believe me, try it. Amen. 
But the word tells us he wished above all that we would prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers. James, the second chapter and the 18th verse says this, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Amen. Here's the, the thing. If we believe, listen, if we actually believe, we will act upon it. We're not saved un, by our works, but we're saved unto good works. Someone that comes along and saves our lives, mm, don't that make you want to do more for them, to be more pleasing to them, amen? Or to take their advice, amen? Okay, James says in the 20th verse of that same chapter, says, But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? You say, I have faith, but, you, but we're not doing anything. We're not acting upon the word. Amen. James says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So if you tell me you've got faith, we're going to see some works, aren't we? If I tell you I've got faith, you're going to see some works, aren't you? See, the two goes hand in hand. Faith brings forth works. Amen? Because Hebrews eleven six says this, But without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. A diligent person is one that's not idle. He's not negligent. He's not slowful. He's very conscientious. He's industrious. He's assiduous. The meaning of diligence in the Bible is the same, though we, as we will see, there is also a spiritual aspect to diligence. What it takes to be diligent is with steady application. We're steadily moving forward and what God is telling us. We're still acting upon the word. We're still believing in him. We're still got them works coming forth because we believe. Amen? Because we have faith. Jesus said, it is finished. He done his part. Now it's time that we do what needs to be done next. Amen? You know, if we've got a job to do, and we're supposed to be there at a certain time, we're supposed to do certain things, and if we just sit home and just, I just don't feel like I need to go in today. I just don't feel good. I, I, I've got a headache, you know. That's not getting the job done. Amen. Now I know there's sickness. Don't get me wrong. But when we are slowful and we're not diligent and we're not pressing toward doing what we know is good, when we're not seeking the will of God, when we're not coming forth and doing what God tells us to do, 
That's not faith. Amen. Just stop and think about it. Faith brings forth works. So let's get off of our stool of do nothing. And let's quit being slowful and lazy. And let's do what God said. If we have faith in God, we will do this. Amen. People say, well, I tried it. It didn't work. Mm, 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 mm. Did you try it God's way or did you try it your way? See, God has a way. And we have our way. And see, his ways are much higher than our ways. That's what he tells us in Isaiah 55. His thoughts are much higher than our thoughts. Amen. But see, that next step is up to us. Jesus done paid the price for our healing. Hmm? He tells us over there, he said, by his stripes ye were healed. One place said, by his stripes ye are healed. But we get down there and we cry, oh God, heal us, if it be your will. Mm, 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 mm. It's God's will that you walk in health. But we've got to believe. We've got to speak it over ourselves. Amen. Jesus gave us the words to speak over ourselves. What are we waiting on? He said it wasn't his will that any perish. But yet we're crying out, God, if it be your will, save me. God, if it be your will, save so-and-so. It's not his will that any perish. He came and paid the ultimate price. The next step is up to us. We've got something to do in this. Amen? Amen? If we didn't, he would, he would just say, y'all, just come on home. But here's the thing. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But he said that no sin is going to enter into the kingdom of God. But he made that way. Amen? He made that way. Now, it's up to us to go that way. It's up to us to walk in, in his healing. It's up to us to walk that salvation road. It's up to us to walk in the prosperity way that he has laid out for us. You say, well, I don't believe that. Well, it's in the word of God. Search it out. He said, search the scriptures. Amen. Try the spirits to see if they're God. Amen. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We have something to do. We have to accept his healing. We have to accept his salvation. He's already paid for it. He's already already forgiven you what are we waiting for <clears throat> excuse me we have to accept it amen how do we accept that Lord I recognize that I'm a sinner I recognize that you sent your son to pay the price for me forgive me of my sins Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. He said, he didn't in no wise cast you away. See, that's accepting him. Amen. Here's the thing. He paid the price. Now it's up to us to receive it. 
What are you receiving today? Are you receiving the things of the world? Are you re receiving the things of the religious? The doubters? The naysayers? The enemy that comes a whispering in your ear. Oh, you'll never be healed. <laughs> the devil is such a liar. Amen. Let's recognize who the enemy is. Let's recognize the word of truth. Amen. He said in 1 Peter 2 and 24, that he took our sins in his own body, though we were dead in sin, that we might live under righteousness. And that by his stripes, we are healed. Isn't that fantastic? To receive it, to claim our healing, search the scriptures, search the healing scriptures. Isaiah 53 is a good one, amen. There's all kinds of scriptures through the Bible that we can speak over ourselves because his word is the living word he said he sent his word and healed them all amen he came seeking to save that which is lost and that all that would come to him he would not cast them away amen so it's up to us let's be diligent let's go forth seeking what is pleasing to God. Amen. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Amen. Oh, such a wonderful, wonderful promise is in the God's word. Amen. But let me tell you something. God is faithful to watch over his word and to perform his word. He said it like this, to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these other things be added unto you. Righteousness. Right standing with God. That means being like Christ. Walking in the footsteps of Christ. Being an imitator of Christ. Amen. Going about loving uh, our neighbors going about loving one another lifting one another up being the reflection of Christ amen children being the light to the lost and dying world amen let's be what God tells us to be hmm and what is that hmm be like Amen. Be like Christ. You say, I can't do that. Well, you know what? We can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. And the fifth verse of the first chapter of James says it like this. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given unto him. Ask, and you'll receive. Seek, and you'll find. Knock, and it'll be opened unto you. I can't, never did do nothing. <laughs> no, we was told that in school. We would tell our teachers, I can't do that. No, you can't. Can't, never did do nothing. But when you try, you will accomplish. You keep trying. Like the little choo-choo train going up the mountain. He got hard. But see, he kept saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And when he starts over the other side, he said, I knew I could, I knew I could. You see, 
Jesus says, we can do all things through him. And he don't ask us to do nothing that he doesn't equip us to do, that he doesn't help us to do, that he doesn't encourage us to do. He sends people across our path to encourage us. So let's not say we can't do the, the things that Jesus asked us to do. Because when we do that, we're calling him a liar. And the Bible says he cannot lie. So who is the liar? When I say I can't, and God says I can, then who's the liar? Let's be careful what we say. Amen? And Jeremiah 29, 13 says, And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. See, when he's telling us what he wants us to do, and we come to a point where we think, well, I can't do that. I don't know how. I don't know. You seek him, and you'll find him. You search for him. How do you do that? Through his word. Diligently. Seek. Keep on seeking. Keep on knocking and knocking and knocking. And keep on asking. Amen? But see, we have to do something Jesus did his part. Now it's up to us. So let's do our part, and then we can walk in unity with Christ. Amen? Because he said, cast your cares upon him, for his burden to light. He said his yoke is easy. See, when we're yoked up with Jesus, oh, listen to me for just a moment. Think about it. You take two old mules out here, and you yoke them up to plow the garden, plow in the, plow in the fields. If you've got one and pulling one way and pulling another way, that farmer's not going to keep that team together very long, is he? Because you got rebellion going on. you got a rebellious spirit. But see, when we're yoked up with Jesus, oh, listen to me, and we're following his lead, we're following his direction, oh, his yoke is easy because he's not going to take you to where you can't go. He's not going to take you through things that you can't go through because look, he's there with you. He, When he takes you through, you're not having to do the work. Mm-mm, listen. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful Savior we're serving. <laughs> his burdens are light. His yoke is easy. Think about Jesus when he was in the fire with the three Hebrew children. Mm -hmm. He didn't bring them out of the fire. He, they threw them in the fire. But Jesus went in with them. Ah! And look what happened. They were rejoicing. They threw them in their bound. Hand and foot. But they were worshiping. They were having a time. They had Jesus with them. And when we've got Jesus with us, everything's just fine. Amen? See, when we're obedient, when we are yoked up with him, and we're going the direction he wants us to go in, he's leading us and he's guiding us, and we're not rebelling against him. <laughs> well, we're working in unison. Amen? And how much further can we get in the work of the kingdom of God when we're following his instructions? Amen? So we have to do something. Okay? We have to believe. We have to trust. We have to act upon it. We've Jesus told, told the, the men there at the, the pool. He said, take up, rise, take up your bed and walk. Hmm. Oh, we got to rise up and do. Amen? 
We've got to do our part. We have got to follow his instructions. Amen. Let me tell you something, children. <laughs> it's time that we took the steps that we're supposed to take now. Jesus done, done his job. He said, it is finished. Amen. And when he come out of that tomb, oh, where is Jesus now? He is seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and I. Amen. Oh, he's pleading our case. Oh, yeah. When we mess up, and we do mess up, amen, he's pleading our case before the Father. Brother, that's, that's ours. That belongs to us. Oh, what a mediator, what a lawyer we have, amen. He is in his rightful position. Let's get in our rightful position. Lord, what would you have me to do? Lord, what can I do to be a blessing to you today? Lord, what can I do to be a blessing to others? Amen. Let me be taking the steps that I need to take to help someone into the kingdom of God. Amen. Let's not have a rebellious spirit. Let's not have a Jezebel spirit try to be controlling to everything that we touch or come in contact with. So we see a lot of that going on today. We see a lot of people say, well, do as I do, not as I say. Jesus said, come follow me. I choose. To follow Jesus. Amen. I choose to seek the Lord's will. I choose to be whatever he wants me to be. If he tells me, go over there and sit down, I'll go sit down. If he tells me to be quiet, I will be quiet. But as long as he tells me to go forth and speak his word, honey, you're going to find me doing exactly that. Amen. I want to be pleasing unto my Lord. I want to lift him up as long as I draw breath in this body. Amen. It don't make no difference what people say. It's what thus saith the word of God. It's what the Lord says. Amen. When he tells you to do something, he equips you to do it. And he will make a way. I'm living proof. Amen. Jesus said, it is finished. Now it's our time to step up to the plate. Amen. I'm like this. Revelation 12 and 11 says this. And they overcame him by talking about the, the enemy. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Amen. I love Jesus. I want my life hid in him. How about you today? Amen. It's finished. He's already done his part. Now let's come seeking his will. Amen. Let him be the Lord of our life. Amen. And he will abundantly bless. He will not turn you away. He is a God of love. A God of mercy. You say, I can't do that. Yes, you can. But we can't do it on our own. We can go it, do it through Christ. Because that's where our strength is. Amen. He's the one that paid, paid the way. He's the one that gave his life for us. He's the one that shed his blood for our salvation. Amen. 
and it's only through him. And he's standing at the door knocking, saying, let me in. Amen. And I pray that you do that today. So until next time, this is Evangelist Lucy Lowe from Post Office Box 133, Grimsley, Tennessee, 38565. Lucy Lowe, 144, at gmail.com. If you care to send us a response, if you see the program, we would love to hear from you. Amen. So until next time, I want to say I love you, but Jesus loves you even more. He paid the price, and he said, it is finished. <laughs>